So, for all of you out there that are parents, what's the craziest thing you've ever done with your kids? Some would talk about camping. Others, maybe going to a football game where someone gets into a fight. Well, me and my brother decided to do something really crazy this last year. We decided after COVID, giving our kids a little bit of a break and something to look forward to as they finished up their junior and senior year of high school, why not take them on an adventure with us? This time, to Iceland. After an eight-hour flight from Seattle, Washington, we landed in Reykjavik and started on a two-hour drive up the coast to a small ranch run by an Icelandic family. These are the same horses you see in Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. They are absolutely gentle little giants, and the kids totally loved it. One of the first things you notice about Iceland is you're on top of volcanic gravel and craters everywhere. And these sure-footed little horses know exactly where to go. There's not much in the way of trees. In fact, the island of Iceland has been reforested some three or four times over the last thousand years. But if you time it just right, there's plenty of color and green things to see. Hey guys, it is day two of Iceland. How's it going, guys? I need water. water. Yeah, he doesn't get any water. Okay, girls. Yay! Okay. Tyson, how's it going, buddy? Let's go. Good job. Yeah. Okay, look at you. We're trying, trying some skull candy. Highly recommend if you've not tried it before. I'm not sure what they call skull candy. Okay. Mm. I was doing roundabouts like a crazy show. <laughs> <laughs> Day two in Iceland was by far our busiest day. After a morning of doing some mountain biking and walking around the steam fumaroles above the bike area, we went on a long hiking trip between several waterfalls. The kids were great sports and it was amazing how much there was to see. Yellowstone or better? Hi! Hey kids! Where are we at guys? Iceland? <laughs> <laughs>
when all the dinosaurs and stuff died in the thousands of years, they hardened their fossils and then eventually turned to stone. Let me see those shapes. <laughs> After a long 10-hour day, we finally made it to the Black Sands Beach, a place made famous by modern movies, but also the puffins that fly above the basalt cliffs. Even though we were all cold and wet, it was still a great place to hang out and stack rocks. What a cool place to visit. <laughs> Sometimes it's the most unexpected stops that make the most memorable places. I think for our kids, the morning of the fourth day was the best day of the whole trip. The sun was out, it was warm, well, as warm as Iceland can be. And there's something about having sunshine on your face in a remote place that helps give you a perspective. <laughs> Life can be rough at times, and it's nice to have a place where you can feel close to God and close to nature. I think for us, Iceland is one of those magical places. Hey guys, we just came back from the ocean. That was pretty epic. Lots of surf, lots of dangerous wet rocks. And Tyson and Tanner decided to jump in. I couldn't save them, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, hey Ty, how's it going? Uh, good. Good, okay.
It's hard not to feel the magic of Iceland. There are so many animals, waterfalls, ancient towns and places to go visit. Uh, it really is an island with a thousand years of history. And yet for some people this might be too rugged. Most of the cities are spread pretty far out. There's not more than a few thousand people in any one town. And there's very few shopping places, which in our mind makes it a great place to go and explore. It's true, the reason why we first came to Iceland was because of a Ben Stiller film. But really, the reason why we want to come back is because of the good experiences with our kids. about to get COVID tested. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. so we can head back home tomorrow, but we have to have a clean bill of health. So let's hope none of us have COVID. Tanner. <gasps> What'd you find here? John, we found a Russian blue cat in Iceland. And it's so cute and it's Look wild this thing. and it likes us. Not here by the airport. I think the locals found it. By a beach of sorts. I found Tanner aboard. You didn't have to like break this door to get You did not, did you? Yeah. Come on, Tanner. But the door was like stuck and I had like nothing. Okay, so we're here by the ocean side of the airport here. Tanner's aboard the KE-97. And it looks like it's open for boarding. Boarding now. Big smiles, girls. Big smiles for the torn. Got it. <laughs> so you're right, kids. So weird. We just went inside of Gigantes Cave. Weird. Strange. Weird. I'm not sure how to feel about it, but it's just weird. It's hard to wrap up the feelings and thoughts of this entire trip. What I think back is just gratitude for our good kids. We hope this trip has brought you some joy and some memories, but also just this idea of building confidence that the world is not such a scary place and that you know we have confidence you'll do great things. I 
Oh, wow. 